Hey everyone, it's Joe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm so excited because it is October, which means it is fall. Well, it's supposed to be autumn, but I'm not feeling the autumn vibes. But the Diary 2024 from Traveler's Company has released, and I thought I would show you the full collection and my thoughts about it. Um, I'm really excited to uh, be sharing this with you, but I'm a little bit um, bummed because usually I make a whole trip out of getting these inserts from one of my favorite stationery stores in Vancouver called Paper Ya. But, you know, I'm not able to be there right now. So, but let's get straight into it. Let's talk about the cute things first obviously i had to get uh, okay so i have the whole collection but i'm not going to keep the whole thing because i'm well this i'm going to keep all <laughs> but the inserts i think i'm going to give to like family and friends because i don't need all of that and i kind of um, have my planning situation kind of locked down so we'll talk about that later but i wanted to talk about the fun stuff in this uh, release which is you know i always think the pencil boards are super fun so let's look at that first so if you're new to traveler's company they release um pencil boards each year uh in the theme that they announce so again this year's traveler's town and we have the passport size one it's so cute there's gold foiling and this kind of like uh, cool tone green this year actually green and red they've been doing this color combo a lot i mean last year it's more of an olive green but yeah, we have Traveler's Circus, uh, Traveler's Ice Cream Parlor, Traveler's Bakery, Barber Optical Shop, The Hall, Post Office, Partner Shops, a, little, a bar and coffee shop. Super cute. Let's just keep these um, in the packaging. And then we have the Traveler's Town um, regular size pencil board. I really like this. Like, I wonder what... Um, what town or what part of the world this is kind of modeled after because i'm like what what looks like this <laughs> but it's like a little this is the water obviously and it's it's a map um of traveler's town so this is a made-up town i think i'll read to you the brief that they have for traveler's town but it's basically like um a place for travelers to you know seek refuge and you know you only find this town when you're traveling it's that whole like make-believe um imaginary town that traveler's company has kind of uh dreamt up for us which you know is very cute and whimsical um this one has a little circus um this one's the hotel um this one's the train the ferry so this is cool because it kind of um links back to the traveler's company limited sets that we already saw with the hotel the airlines um the record shop What's the last one? And the train. So you can see there's the record shop. There's a cafe. We did a cafe theme last year, um, for or this current year, 2023. Um, and then they released the limited diner set that last year as well. So um, there's a lot of like, e there's enough establishments in this traveler's universe to make a traveler's town, which is cute. And this is baby blue with brown and cream. And then this has um, like orangey red ruling and this has brown ruling on the back side of the pencil board, which is nice because I actually use this because um, I sometimes use blank inserts and you can kind of see these poke through when you put it underneath the page. These are handy. And then, oh, please excuse the music that my neighbors are playing. Um, and then these, I keep thinking these are relatively new, but it's been years that, since they've been carrying this. But these are the clear sheets. And I notoriously like these because I like DIYing them into, um, well, they're a folder right now, but they're fun to use. Um, I really recommend this if you're wanting to do a DIY to just open this up right here and add pockets into it. And you can use it as a little folder in your traveler's notebook. But this is, this says things will be great when you're here. Welcome to traveler's town. Very cute. And then this is in a pale blue and then you can see the design a little bit more clearly when there's white behind it but there's like this i don't know it reminds me of like dotonbury in um osaka like it's just like a little um shopping uh corridor i really like it um this one has traveler's curry and i love kokoichi curry in japan so this is like 
super cute. I just, it's like there's a traveler's factory. There's so many little details in here. Um, and the illustration is super like watercolory and loose. I think Ijima san, the creative director, was the one that drew this. Um, has his like drawing style written all over it. Um, super cute. And then this one's nice because um, I'm a, I'm living a solo traveler life here, if you will. Um, so it says, when you're alone, you can always go to Traveler's Town. So it's, I think those are the two catchphrases, that and then things will be great when you're here, which is super cute. And again, this has the same motif as the other ones. It says, um, you know, Traveler's Park, a theme park, Traveler's Records, Hotel. This looks like an, a theater or cinema, bookstore, Traveler's Diner and Cafe. And then bookstore matches, I think the theme from two years ago. I think it was like either 2021 or 2020. And I remember that because it was like in the pandemic. It was like travel in your mind through books since we couldn't travel as much. And then <clears throat> honestly, I keep, I tell myself I'm not going to buy this each year. And then I end up buying it. <laughs> this is the uh, customized sticker set. There's six sheets here. And this is obviously for 2024. But I don't think there's any, you know, I've, I always purchased this, but I never fully finish it. So my goal this year is to actually use it fully. But the only dated thing is this <clears throat> initial sheet right here that has all of the um like the towns it all says like 2024 and stuff but all of this is undated so it can carry over the next year so um coffee shop ice cream bus this one just says traveler's town bakery barber bowling this one's traveler's town tailor shop traveler's ferry which is a nice like nod back to like the star fairy fifth anniversary and then this is super cute because if you follow travelers factory in any way you've probably seen the bear motif um done for like the holidays and travelers company usa carries that will carry that um i think they've carried it in the past and hopefully they carry it this year um but yeah this is super cool it's like a patch can they make this a real thing this like iron on patch it would look so cute on like a delphonics bag or like a tote bag um, but yeah this is all gold foiled and then we have the sticky tabs um i really like the colors that they chose this year i feel like they were slightly different but this is burnt orange um like a teal blue like a deeper um blue and then an olive green super cute and this is the passport size and this is regular size or so here they put large and small so you know you can use this in any notebook honestly and then the icons i'm trying to be more deliberate about using these because i have a bunch of these and these actually um work well with the journal pages too um, i'm trying not to think of them as just a planner thing and these two you can use these as just regular dot stickers and i have a bunch of these and i'm going to try and use them again and then these ones, these are clear pocket folders for your traveler's notebook. You can see right here, that little center piece here on all of them. That's actually the part of the pocket that you would put your ephemera or things in. And there's a little adhesive that goes all around. So this pocket's not actually that big. It's probably like small business card size slash smaller since this is the only part that you'll be able to use. But I actually don't put this on directly on my traveler's notebook. I put it in the Traveler's Notebook insert, like right here in the inside cover. Um, so it has the same motif, Traveler's Town. This one just says, has the bus, the airlines, and the ferry. So the transportation, and then these are like the um, different establishments that you can go to, record, shop, the diner, uh, the bookstore, and the hotel. Super cute. And lastly, another, like these, this one I'm pretty good about using. This one I'm pretty good at using. This one I'm okay at using. I usually use like the larger size. This one I'm better, this one I'm not. And then this one's the worst thing uh, in terms of like, I really like it. I just never end up fully using it by the end of the year. But these are rub on stickers. So if you are new to like, uh, like stickers um, back in the nineties, I feel like they were popular, but you would basically peel off the backing, put the letter that you need down on the page and then use like a popsicle stick or any any surface on it so you can use your phone if you want or your fingers and you just rub that um letter to transfer it onto the page um this is popular with the um what brand is that i really not yun charm they make stickers not empty i'm i'm blanking i used i remember discovering it a little bit later on in like 
the pandemic and bought a whole bunch. But yeah, it reminds me of that company. Pion? No, it's not. Ah, if someone knows, I'm having a brain fart. Let me know what. I think you know what I'm talking about. They do like florals. Oh, it's gonna bug me. It's gonna bug me. But yeah, that was the undated things. And then we have all the inserts. So let's do regular size. So we have the Diary 2024 Monthly, 2024 Vertical Weekly, and then Weekly Memo. So um, this one um, is the one that I usually purchase. So let's open this first. And I like this because all of the Diary 2024 refills come with like the giant circle stickers. These ones. Let's see the design. Ooh, welcome to Traveler's Town. Where, when you're alone, you can always go to Traveler's Town. And it has that, again, motif of the town. And then this one is the same every year, the bottom one. You just change the year. And then this is the guide. I'll give this a quick read. Um, you can skip ahead if you don't want to listen to it. So, the travelers are back in town. Uh, Traveler's Town has been quiet for the past few years. But it seems that recently, the travelers are back in our town. Travelers are getting off at the train station and airport one after another. Hotels that have been deserted for a long time are now crowded with travelers. At a coffee shop, I can hear unfamiliar conversations in foreign languages from the table next to me. Our record store is also selling records of local bands at a rapid pace. As I open my traveler's notebook at my favorite diner over a cup of coffee as usual, a fellow traveler said to me, I use the same notebook as you do. We then got to talking and went for a drink together. Looking through his notebook, which made me feel, which, which was filled with the records of his travels, made me want to go on another trip. The return of travelers bring life back into the town and reminds me of the joy of travel that I had forgotten for a while. The mixture of travelers from all over the world walk, talking with locals makes it seem as if our town has become a destination and we can spend our days as if we are traveling. Their tales pique the curiosity of travelers and encourage them to set out on a journey to a new world. We hope that in 2024, we can travel freely all over the world. When you are ready to travel, why not start by traveling or visiting Traveler's Town? Wherever you are in the world, we look forward to welcoming you. No, oh, it's so cute. I honestly like the storytelling is great. And honestly, one thing that I want to work on in 2024 is becoming a better like writer, I realize like I don't, I'm not a good, I'm not good at conveying my ideas in like a written format. I think you guys know that I enjoy like video and I like voiceovers, but I'm not the most eloquent. Like I ramble a lot and I'm not concise. And so that's one, of, what's, that's one thing that I really want to get better at, but that's an aside for maybe we'll do like a goal setting video together in 2024. But that's one thing I want to be mindful of. Um, this is the monthly, um, Insert for 2024, you get uh, two years at a glance, so 2024, 2025. Um, like this vertical style calendar. Um, and then you go straight into the monthly, starting from December and then all the way. I think you end in, I think you might, might get January 2025. Yeah, you get January 2025 and then you get the world map with time zones. Um, conversions for different volumes and stuff. You can make a little travel plan here and then just an empty page or a few empty pages for whatever you want to record. And then your departure card, which is at the end of this one. And then we'll open these ones. The stickers and the pamphlet are the same, but this is um, the vertical weekly. And to reduce the chunk of it, this is actually created in two inserts. Um, the first one is the first half of the year, and then this is the second half of the year. This, is, If you're familiar with Hobonichi, they do the same thing with the Avec, so you get a thinner notebook. Um, so this is the same layout. You get the two years at a glance, the vertical style monthly calendar. Um, not monthly calendar, you get like four months at a spread. And then you go into the weekly, starting from... December 18th. Oh, cool. That's pretty early, actually. Um, so you get quite a bit of December, and then you go straight into the year. 
nice feature on the side is that you have like a whole bunch of months in advance here to see. Um, and then it ends on yeah, in June, June 30th. So you get all of June. So they did a full on split between the first half of the year and the second half. So this one starts in July, same deal. Uh, oh, you actually get, oh, there's no, you, you get the last week of June as well, which is a nice touch just in case. And then you go straight into July and then you go all the way till, let's see, to the first week of January. So until the 5th, and then you just have blank pages at the end and then the departure card end card. So that was the vertical um, diary. And then let's do the last one, the weekly plus memo. I always try to do the vertical and I always feel like I'm gonna be that that person that completes it. I, I, I have in the past, but there's so many videos on my channel where you've probably seen me repurpose this dated insert into just like, I just, collage over top of the numbers and i just use it as a daily planner after like two years of owning you know that notebook so i stopped trying to not buy the inserts that i don't use very well um i have i like the hobonichi weeks and the the vertical plus memo is such a i think an iconic um planner layout like a lot of planners have this layout for their weeklies and i really like it um so if ever i stop using the the Hobonichi Weeks, I'll probably start using this again because it's always been uh, a good layout for me. So as usual, you start with two years at a glance, your four months on a spread in the vertical monthly layout, and then you go straight into the weekly plus memo starting on uh, December 25th. Oh, on <laughs> starting on Christmas. And then um, you have six months. So it's probably till the last week of June. Yep. Yeah. Same as the exact... Uh, same as the vertical insert and then you get one blank spread and then the departure card but as you can see you have the month the days of the week here on the left hand side and then on the right hand side you just get grid and this is all md paper and i like how this has a grid but it's not too subtle and this grid is definitely larger than hobonichi's grid um so if you're like me that ha i mean i always say that i have bigger writing but like when i look at my planner i feel like i have like i can change it up sometimes i write really small sometimes i write really big but i think two millimeter grid is too small four millimeter grid is perfect and i think that's this for me i think i could maybe three mil no three still 3.5 millimeter grid does anyone make that i'm pretty sure I think Hobonichi does 3.8 in one of the, I don't know. Anyways, I digress. This grid is good for me and it's on cream paper, which I like. And then you get two months here um, on the top of each spread. So for example, here you get the current month and the next month. So it's nice to just have that at a glance. And yeah, this follows the same kind of uh, plan as the uh, monthlies, two months at a glance. Um, vertical monthly calendars four months at a glance then you start on yeah again the last week of june and then you go straight into the first week of january till the fifth from what i would imagine let's see let's double check my hunch oh uh, yeah correct because that's exactly what they did with the vertical <laughs> and then again a blank spread and then your departure and card and yeah, that's like the, the regular size inserts. If you're curious what I'm going to purchase, I'm going to keep this and this and then give this away. And I'm going to keep this just in case because uh, I'm just really bad at hoarding things. But I'll keep it and then give it away if someone needs it. Like I usually figure out the first week or second week of the year that I'm like, no, I'm not going to use this. So there's always a friend that will need this or would be gracious enough to grab it. So there's that. And then... It's the monthlies. I'm not going to open these up, but this is the same thing as that. <laughs> and then, actually, no, I'll open this one up. It's the same layout. It's just smaller, right? Um, for this one, if you're wondering what sticker you get, you get this. So it's the smaller one. You get the like a postage stamp one, which is super cute. This one's a postage stamp style one, too. 
Uh, which makes sense because it's a town. Okay, that's cute. Uh, <laughs> the two circle stickers and then this kind of rectangular one. And then the guide looks like this. Same copy on it, like the, the writing on it is the same. And then it has that similar layout that you saw here on the um, clear folder. And then this one, this is the weekly. There's only one weekly um, passport size and it's this kind of horizontal um, layout. So you get two years at a glance, 24, 25, then the four month uh, vertical calendar and you get the whole year and then you st start right um right away with the um oh, this is the second half of the year oops um just pretend this is the first half of the year where you get um like a vertical sorry horizontal layout there's no memo page since they use the whole insert since this is a smaller you know smaller form factor but it's nice because you get pretty much like a lot of room actually like let's Let's compare how much room you get. Yeah, you get, you actually get more room um, it, just in terms of the, the height of the space. Obviously, the passport is smaller, so it probably if we, someone actually did the math that figured out the area of these two rectangles, which I don't know if I'll do. Uh, let's see if future Joe does that. Um, we'll figure out the actual area, but it looks like it's actually quite a bit. It might be equal, which is nice to to dream that they are equal in size. What? This has more area than this. What? That's crazy. I mean, just looking at it, it is big, but look at that, 28.8 centimeters squared, and this is 28.6 centimeters squared, so it's only a 0 0.2, um, 0 0.2 centimeter difference, but still, super cool to learn about. Okay, the more you know, Teacher Job signing out. <laughs> Size, but, sorry, in area. <laughs> I don't know why I got some, um, like, math focus there uh, but yeah you get the whole week at a at a glance and then you get the month that you're on at the bottom here um yeah right there um and then you get let's see i think you get to the yeah you get until um june oh sorry january 5th so you get the last week and then you get a blank spread and then again your departure oh i think you get two blank spreads you get two blank spreads in the departure card, which is nice. And that's the same as the beginning half of the year, obviously, same layout, um, but it goes until the last week of June right there. And then same layout, obviously. Um, and these match, matchy, matchy. Um, and then, oh, since we opened everything up, let's just open this. I'll just show you real quick, but I'm not gonna go over the details too much because I've been rambling for too long. Um, but yeah, you get. Well, I'll just. Oh no, I'm just gonna explain it. Two, two one, two years at a glance, and then you have your vertical, um, yearly, um, view, and then you get the months from December all the way to January. That is a fake French accent for sure. You get January, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you get January and then the same thing in the bigger um, regular size monthly. You get the the time zones, conversion charts, travel plan, and then a few blank spreads and obviously your departure card and card of the insert. And that is it for Diary 2024. Um, this is a lot. I uh, hope you enjoyed seeing a rundown of all the inserts. Obviously, I'm not going to keep all of them, but I'm, I'm going to be using some of these this year. Actually, most of these this year. You best believe these accessories are going to make uh, many appearances on this channel and on, you know, social media because I love, you know, the little accessories that go on 
um, and coincide with Traveler's Notebook. But if you have any questions about any of this, let me know in the comments down below. And I believe these are all available for pre... Well, I think they're all available now in like North America, I think after October 9th. So be sure to check it out at your local retailer. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to create more in 2024 and um, use these inserts and these accessories uh, with my Traveler's Notebook. Uh, I think that's it, folks. If you want more exclusive content like videos and printables and podcast episodes, be sure to check me out on Patreon. I love my Patreon eggies. Um, be sure to check that out because it's the best way to directly support this channel and to support me. And I think that's it, folks. Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram for any up-to-date news and fun Instagram stories because, you know, we get up to a lot of random shenanigans in this new town that I'm living in. Okay, I think that's it, folks. I love you so much. Please take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.